In our first video, you already learned the basics of our Hayflow Builder and the Blocks tab. In this video, we're going to dive into the Editing tab and the adjustment options for our different block types. My name is Franzi and welcome to Hayflow. Whenever you click on a block in the Editing panel, it will open the settings for this particular block. If you want to adjust the appearance of all blocks of the same type, head to the Design tab or check out our Design Basics video. In this video, we will cover the most common and important block settings. For a full list of editing options per block, visit our Help Center that we linked in the description below. The setting options will vary by block, but there are three things that you can adjust for any block type. The spacing, its device visibility, and the background color. Adjusting the device visibility might come in handy if your Hayflow contains large visuals or elements that you want to hide for mobile visitors. For text and headline blocks, you can also change the text alignment or select the text within the editing panel to format it or add calculations. Let's continue with the settings for our input blocks. For multiple choice or picture choice blocks, you can choose whether flow visitors can pick one or multiple options. When set to multiple, you can also set the minimum and maximum selection in the validation tab. For all input fields, you can activate the sensitive toggle, which means that answers will not be saved in Hayflow's database and therefore won't appear in the response dashboard. This comes in handy when handling personal information like names or email addresses. If you integrated your Hayflow with other response handlers, you'll still be able to see the answers there. Set any input field as required if your flow visitors should fill it out before progressing further. But handle this option with caution, as too many required fields might increase drop-off rates. Enabling conditional logic lets you send users to different screens based on their answer, a great way to pre-qualify leads or candidates. Check out our dedicated video to learn more about this topic. Under Tracking, you can enable to send events to your connected analytics integrations, such as Google Analytics or Facebook Pixel. Lastly, you can set up system labels and variables. System labels define how fields are titled in your response dashboard or in the confirmation email you receive when someone fills out your Hayflow. Variables let you use a flow visitor's input like their first name on subsequent screens and are a great way to personalize your Hayflow. For more information on these topics, check our other videos or the Help Center. For input fields, we have some more settings. We can restrict the format of the input to email addresses, phone numbers, dates, and more. You can either select from different presets to validate inputs or head to the Decorator tab to choose from a selection of masks and symbols. Now let's have a look at our most important button settings. Here you can define what should happen when a flow visitor pushes this particular button. You can decide if they should be directed to the next or a particular screen in your Hayflow or route them based on their previous answer with conditional logic. You can also define the size and style of your button. Congratulations! Now you know the most important block settings. Head to our help center for more explanations about each block and check out our other videos to become a Hayflow expert. Happy building and have a great day! Music